guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Swap, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool fighting game on Scratch. Now, at the beginning, when I first started thinking of making this game, I was looking on Google for pictures or videos of people fighting that I could use in my game. But I found nothing. So after a few days of thinking what I could do, I figured out that I could just film myself doing the actions, which for me I did seven, but you can do how many ever you want for your game. And when I did that, I also uh, removed their backgrounds and uh, did a couple of things with them to make them perfect for the game. So there you go, I had the things ready for the game. So yeah, make sure you watch the video to see what bugs or any other stuff that could happen to your project and how to fix them. So let's get started. So now let's go ahead and recap what we did in the last video. So first we filmed um, those actions and after that we took away their background with using the unscreen website. And then we imported them into Scratch and Scratch put them in as uh, costumes and each costume represents a frame of the different videos and the different actions that I filmed. Okay, so as you can see here, I went ahead and put all of the different actions, all the different costumes and I've got about 300, yeah, 279. All right. Now let's go ahead and add a background to make sure that there is no like background on the uh, pictures, on the costumes. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use uh, this one right here. It's called Wall 2, all right. So this will be it, all right. And um, now let's go ahead and make him punch. So to make him punch, we will need um, when, a, a, key is pressed and that key let's do Q for punch all right so when Q key pressed uh, we want to switch um, our costume to punch there's punch you gotta make sure it's punch just one just punch so switch costume to punch and then we undo what we did here which is um, repeat um, next costume, but we got to know how many times to repeat that. So let's go into costumes and check how many different costumes are for the punch action. Okay, so go down, down, down. Okay, wait. There's a lot. Okay, so here they start and. It goes up to 37. So since we start on the first one, we're going to need a repeat 36. And then after all of this is done, we want to go back just to idle. We want to go back to uh, normal. So just idle. Okay. So let's test it. So let's run the program. He's idling. And I'm going to click Q. And you can see that uh, it punches, but it does some extra actions extra costumes it goes down extra costumes um after um this is because here these two events whether they're also called threads um they run at the same time and while this guy's doing 36 uh next costumes uh this one is also doing some next costumes so you end up doing um a couple more next costumes than intended to do so to fix this, you'll want to not be able to do the idle action while you are punching. So to do that, we will make a variable. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call it idle uh, for the sprite only because we will have an opponent for this guy to fight and he's going to have the same thing. So for the sprite only, um, when green flag clicked here, set idle to true because you start the program idling. And then when Q key pressed, uh, so when you punch, you want to set idle to false. Uh, but make sure that after you're done punching, so here, you want to set idle back to true. And um, now, when you're punching, what blocks do you not want to do? Well, there's two of them, and here they are. There's switch costume to idle and this next costume. So you only want to be able to do those when you're not punching. So when idle equals true. So if 
our variable idle equals true. So only when you're idle, you undo that, okay? So I'll put that here on the next costume. All right, first, uh, let's duplicate it because we're gonna need one here, like I said, for the next costume and one around the whole thing for the uh, switch costume. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it. And he's idling and when I punch, he punches and then, um, it looks like he's taking too long to punch and it looks really bad here because when it goes from the punch to the idle. So it's taking him too long to punch. So let's take down this repeat. Uh, let's do this thing like 25. Let's try. It's a bit better. Yeah, that's better, but it's not quite perfect. Uh, 20, maybe? This is it, maybe? Almost, but not quite white like you can tell there there's a it like it looks weird so 15 that looks better so, yeah something like that that should be good now you can go ahead and delete all the other punch costumes from 17 to your max number um keep in mind that this number 15 for me it will be different for all of you guys because you guys have different videos than me, so yeah. But uh, you now know how to solve this type of problem. So now let's go ahead and do the same thing for a kick. So let's go ahead and duplicate this. And we'll change the key to um, A. Let's do A for kick. So this can be kick, that's the same, but we're going to switch costume to kick, not punch. And then... So this, let's see how many costumes of kick we have. Okay. There they started. And, oh, it's 37, the same as punch. That means this repeat will be 36, the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this. So when I kick... You can see that I move a bit backward. That's one of the problems. And there's also another problem. Um, I'm a bit bigger than I was before when I was idling. That was probably because when I was filming it, I was too close. I was a bit closer to the camera. So basically, when you kick, you want to make me a bit smaller. This might not be the same for you, but for me, I have to change size by to make myself a little smaller, got to do like a negative five. Okay. And then, uh, like I said, I'm a bit too back. So let's go ahead and change X by 50. Maybe 50 is good. Okay. Oh, and then at the end, you want to make sure that you do this, but backwards. So it'll be change size by five. And change x by 50, by negative 50. Okay, let's test that. I kick. It's a bit better, but now I go too far ahead. So let's try something like negative 35 and 35 here, just 35. All right, try it. And I think that that's good. Okay, but there is another problem. Um, as you can see, in that last position there of the kick, it stays there too much, and then when it goes back to idling, you can see that I move backwards. See? My foot there it moves backwards. So to change this, this repeat 36, let's just make this thing like 30. Just a bit less, let's try 30. All right, and then when I kick, my foot, it it's good all right and there is one last problem and it's basically if you uh punch and then uh kick right away or kick and punch right away then it has a similar problem as it did before with idle it will both of these will get run at the same time and they will next costume 
too many times as you intended to do. So to fix this problem, uh, you basically only want to be able to punch uh, if you're not kicking and kick when you're not punching. So basically to fix this, we will put a uh, here for the punch and for the kick, we're gonna put a wait until idle equals true. And idle equals true means that it's not doing any actions. So if it's not doing any actions, then it can do one action. Uh, wait, let me go and duplicate it. Okay, so we'll put that in there for both of them. Okay, let's test it. And I will punch and kick. And um, it won't do my kick when I tell it to. We, that's good because it, it's in the middle of the punching. It'll do the kick after, or the same for the punch. It's like that works. So now let's go ahead and do the low block and the high block. So let's go ahead and duplicate this. All right, and basically uh, this is going to be our let's say high block. So high block can be S. Okay, change this to high block. Okay, and let's see how many it has, how many costumes it has. High block has 41, and let's just check low block for now. Low block also has 41. Okay, so it'll be a repeat 40 for both. Okay, so that's that that and then let's do low block low block will be X we'll change this to low block okay all right so let's go ahead and test it and we will um, high block first Uh, that works, kind of. Okay, wait, let's try low block now. So, um, it's staying in that last position a bit too much. So, this 40, let's make it a 30 for both of them. It has the same problem. Okay, let's try it. Okay, that's better. Now, let's go ahead and add walk. So, let's go ahead and duplicate this one. And change it. Let's start with, uh... Walking to the right, so we're gonna do C for that. All right, all this the same. Such so costume to walk here. Oops. Walk, and then let's see how many costumes it has. All right, it has 51. So we'll do a repeat 50 times. And what's different about this one is that it actually has to walk, so we will change x by 1, since we're walking to the right. So let's test it. And when we click it... Okay, so I saw a couple problems there. The first one is that when I click... In, in my case, you could have different problems than me, or you could have no problems, I don't know. But for me, I saw a couple problems. The first one is when I click, it goes a bit back, and then it goes forward. So, we'll fix that in just a bit. Let me just tell you about the other problems. So, when I click it, it also, um, it goes for too long, forward, as you can see. It goes way too far, so we'll be changing this 50 to something for me. And, um... The, another problem, and I think it's the last one, is that when I go, it ends and it comes back. So we don't want it to come back that much, we want it to just go um, forward a bit. So here we will change x by, let's say, 20. Beginning was the first problem. The second problem is that this repeats too much. So let's try 15. And the third problem was that it needs to go a bit forward. So just try 10. 
And one last thing, the sensation of moving for me, for my project, is if I start at walk nine, or costume nine for walk, okay? Let's test it. And uh, let's bring him back to here for now. And then I walk. He walks a bit, and the, the all three problems all are solved. So that's good. Now let's go ahead and do walking left. And basically the code for walking left is going to be the exact opposite of walking right. Except for this key. It's going to be Z. But everything, all the values are going to be the exact opposite. So for example, um, here it's going to be uh, negative 10 and it's going to be negative so that's going to be negative 10 and this is going to be a uh, negative 20 and that's they switch around because this time it has to go back a bit less at the beginning because it's technically what it was at the end for walking this way but for this way it's the uh, beginning so that, that was change and um, uh, for the next costume thing we actually want it to be the last costume but if you can see it here, there is no last costume block. So we will take this out. Um, we're actually going to keep this. And it's going to be negative one. So instead of this next costume, it's going to be switch costume two. Um, and then it's going to be costume number minus one, which will give you the one right before. Alright, and then um, since we want the exact opposite, here you can see that it was at 9 and then it repeated 15 times next costume. So I got to costume 24. So here we have to start at costume walk 24. Okay, and that should be good. So let's test it. And um, if we move backwards, then it moves well. We move forwards, it moves well. So that's good. Now there's just one tiny thing. Uh, when green flag clicked, we just got to start at a certain position. And that's going to be, uh, let's do negative 100 with negative hmm, 40. All right, let's just see where that is. And that should be good. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you again in part three.